Understanding the phrase, piece it together, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating phrase that you might have come across. Piece it together. This phrase is commonly used in English conversations and texts, and understanding it can really help you in comprehending English better. So, let's piece together the meaning of, piece it together. First, let's break down the phrase literally. Piece, means a part of something, and, together, refers to combining or joining things. So, literally, piece it together, means to join the pieces of something to form a whole. Imagine a puzzle, you piece it together by joining all the individual puzzle pieces. In everyday English, however, piece it together is often used figuratively. It means to understand or figure out something by putting together different pieces of information. For example, if you hear part of a story and later learn another part, you might piece it together to understand the whole story. It's like being a detective, gathering clues to solve a mystery. Let's see some examples to clarify further. 1. After hearing everyone's accounts of the event, I finally pieced it together. 2. She pieced together the whole plan by looking at the notes left on the table. In these sentences, pieced it together is used to mean understanding or figuring out the whole situation from different bits of information. Be careful not to confuse, piece it together, with similar sounding phrases. For example, piece together, is incorrect. Remember, it's, peace, as in a part of something, not, peace, as in the absence of conflict. Also, piece it together, is usually used for information or abstract things, not physical objects. You wouldn't usually say, I pieced together the broken vase. Instead, you would say, I put together the broken vase. That's all for today. I hope this video helped you understand the phrase, piece it together. It's a handy phrase to know, and now you can confidently use it in your conversations and writings. If you have any questions or need more examples, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more English learning content. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.